big three points, Gaffer. You're first back at the club, and the players have put in a real shift to get over the line today. Yeah, I thought the built up the energy um, all around the stadium from the fans, uh, from the team. I thought was very, very positive in <clears throat> in lots of moments in the game. Of course, it's a, it's a championship match, and there's not always going to be a 95 minute performance of domination and score lots of goals. Sometimes you've got to find different ways to win games. We've spoke about that a little bit recently, um, particularly down at, at QPR on Friday where, you know, that last minute goal just goals because I think it's a it's a, a good enough performance to go and get a point. Um, and today was similar, you know, I thought we started started well 25 minutes before we were really bright. Um, and I think that we just gave them an opportunity, a chance and it maybe just made everyone a little bit nervous for that that final stages of the first half. So um, but we got into some good positions. I mean, Backer got into some really good positions when Koji just drifts inside that little link up there, and, and um, you know, we had some really good moments, some good attempts on goal. So a little bit unfortunate, maybe not to score one in the first half. And then second half, maybe just started a little bit scrappy. Um, but Preston are a good side, and when you know when you look like you want to go and press them, you know they've got the ability to go over the top of that press and into the front and keep it alive and. And um, you know, cer certainly there were moments where it's hard to build that momentum in the game, but but I felt we needed to. And, and um, again, we've had some good moments second half. Paik, uh, I don't know if it was a well worked free kick or it was an accidental free kick, but he ends up in and probably should score. Um, obviously, guards towards the end would have would have put the uh, would have put the icing on the cake, but but um, the moment fell to Jay. And and when you're a young player, perhaps not were the goals that you want recently and, and you know it's easy to be nervous but I've got to say you know I wouldn't have picked anyone else on the pitch to be in that position because he's such a good finisher he's so composed and, and um, those ones where you get a lot of time to think I think they're the hardest ones uh, so for him to finish it off with a composure that he did I thought was was magic and then it's just really about whether we can do what we didn't do on Friday uh, which was dog the last moments out and, and I thought we did relatively comfortable I thought we defended brilliantly all game as a team it's a first winning eight. You spoke about confidence when you first came back to the football club. What will that do, hopefully, for the group now? Yeah, it's hard because, again, you know, we've obviously come into a situation that that, that sort of that feeling just gets inherited to the next next sort of um, the next voice the players hear. So, of course, when you do a lot of work and the players feel good and then you lose the first game, it feels like here we go again. So I think that, you know, you always felt as though that first result was the one that gives us a real chance to build on, gives us a real chance to kickstart this final bit of the season. So, um, But I thought we handled the game well. I didn't think we looked like a team scrapping around at the bottom of the table. I thought we looked like a team that were pretty controlled and hard-working and, and organised. Um, you know, and, and, and those three points, I think, for the fans, just gives that little... You could feel that little bit of belief at the end, the final whistle and, and with the players. So, But what I've said in there is we've got to make sure we recognise what we've done. Um, you know, the, the hard work, the energy, the togetherness, the squad and team spirit is, is um, you know, the, the only thing I, would, I, I, I think we need to add because the quality's there. Um, but it's only when you match the two up that you get a result. And the first clean sheet in nine, um, it means you're always in games. How crucial is that down the other end of the pitch? Yeah, I think that's something the team's found hard. Um, obviously, for, for different reasons, a lot of injuries in that position and probably less natural players for certain games um, and I felt that could be a, an issue when we came into the club just just in terms of can we dig out a result in that sense um, but what I would say is today we showed exactly what we're about you know I thought Dion played like a captain you know played very aggressively Manu exactly the same Christian dropping into those areas Laird and Lee Buchanan you know again and it's sometimes you know that's your job you know if you're a defender First and foremost, your job is to, to make sure you do everything to stop the opposition scoring. And there's no better feeling than, than a clean sheet because it just gives you that platform all the time to go on and win games. Um, you know, if you're conceding soft goals and easy goals, you know you've got to score a lot of goals and that's hard to do in this division. So, so um, yeah, that has to be the bedrock of our, our performances. You mentioned a few players by name there. We could mention any number of individual contributions. I want to get your take on Janino Bakuna. We know the ability that he's got bags full of it how do you get the best out of him on a consistent basis yeah I spoke to him about it um, I felt at QPR look, I know what ability he's got uh, I felt at QPR just just needed that a little bit more intensity off the ball um, today he's given me everything he's given me that intensity off the ball that the team needs to just help it stay together in a compact way um, but what he has got you know there's different ways of showing leadership and sometimes taking the ball when someone's you know putting pressure on you 
that's quality and that's class. So, you know, certainly when he plays that way, and I think part of his challenge is he has the ability to do that all the time. Um, you know, I know that's hard. I know you can't always look to one player, but uh, I thought he led the way today. And I actually name checked him. In a, I wouldn't normally do that in front of the rest of the lads, but um, I thought he was absolutely outstanding. So you know, he's going to be a huge part of us getting good results um, in these last six games. Six to go, and a week, or well, the rest of the week, to prepare now for Leicester. Yeah, tough game again. We knew that, but probably we knew the importance of today's game. Um, you know, you don't want to be going. Uh, away from home at Leicester with two defeats so now that gives us that nice bit of belief that we can go there and we can go and get a good result and that's what we'll try and do we tried to do it today could have been easier to get on the back foot and, and you know try and wait for the game to happen in the back five but I felt we wanted to get on the front foot and try and take every game to the opposition and, and um, you know that's exactly what we'll do but we also know they're a good team and you know we had some moments today where if it's a team like Leicester, I think they probably open you up in those positions. So, um, yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. Congratulations, Gavin. Fabulous, thank you.